Hey guys, what's up? Bye, Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this is a live attack video, a 10v10 attempt post update. I thought you guys might want to see this one because I typically tend to do 10v11, uh, but now you guys get a chance to see me try a 10v10. Already had one successful 10v10. Um, it was pretty easy. These bases aren't that tough, and uh, this one actually is harder, and we had a dip fail on it. So trying to get a little bit of practice here, if nothing else, uh, the war is not going to be that competitive. Um, so I'm going to you know, try out my 10v10 skills. Let's talk about this base. We'll go through the plan, take a look at the replay on it, and then I'll go ahead and try the attack for you guys. So if you want, as always, you can just fast forward to the attack. It should be a few minutes uh, farther into the video. But if you're interested in the plan, I'll go ahead and go through it now. All right, so um, doing something similar to what the last attacker did, which you guys will see in a moment. I'm um, going to drop down my queen right here with five healers on her, uh, wall break open here, and let her just start walking in. <clears throat> I'm going to drop four loons here for that archer tower, no haste, and then um, a minion, two minions here on that uh, barracks to get it taken out. Basically the idea is I'm going to take out this area. Um, based on the last attack, we know that um, only poisoning the queen, um, and I should be fine with five healers, won't need to use the queen's ability or rage or anything, just poison the queen. Then with that like mini funnel on the right side, the queen should step up kind of towards the inferno, then head this way. Of course when the CC comes out, I'll drop my second poison on it, and I will likely have to rage up my queen, and that's fine, I have two rages, the first one, <coughs> excuse me, the first one I can use there, the second one maybe use around here, you know, wherever wherever it's needed, but um, that's, the, that's the plan, and the CC has some witches, so I'm going to try to get that poison basically right on the outside of the clan castle to get those witches taken out, because that's very important. Um, I'll use my max poison spell on them. Okay, so as the queen walk is getting going, and um, probably around the time the CC troops get taken out, don't want to wait too long, I'm going to kind of take my attention away. Um, in addition to those two minions up here, I'm also going to drop a minion here. I'm going to sneak one in there. Then later, I'm going to drop down a giant, my king, and probably a wizard here. And then open this up with wall breakers. It's going to be a little bit difficult, but with the giant to tank, I should be able to sneak in some wall breakers onto that wall. And get my king headed this direction. The goal was to have him take out the defensive king, but as soon as he's going in gonna send in the hogs like so just gonna spread them out around here I might hold my CC hogs just so I can deploy them with a little bit of a delay but gonna basically send in a wall of hogs and a heal spell right over here and then probably my CC onto that double cannon to get it taken out as soon as possible as the hogs cut across now hopefully the king will be down I'm trying to get him taken out so he doesn't become an issue for my hogs um, so I'm thinking my king can at least achieve that if not grab the archer tower or something as well, that'd be nice. Um, so I have my second heal for here, and a third heal wherever needed, maybe if there's still stuff over here by the inferno, but I'm hoping my queen will kind of come around and start to clean this up. Not a whole lot of point defense, the expos are spread out, um, the point defense is pretty spread out, so as long as I take care of my queen with the two rages, and as long as, uh, you know, everything goes fairly well, I think I have a good shot at this, just can't wait too long. Um, Got to get the king going and the hogs going. It's going to be a little bit of a, of a tricky situation getting everything kind of deployed at once and trying to multitask with my deployment, but we'll see how it goes. Um, let's go ahead and make sure I have all my troops. Got my CC filled. Um, two rages, three heals, and the uh, four loons, five wizards. Yep, everything looks perfect. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and watch the replay just so it's fresh in my mind. Um, and then we'll go ahead and take a take a, a shot at this. Like I said, there was a dip fail. A um, little bit unlucky. The base, as you see, was pretty much crushed. But this is the queen walk I care about. Um, dropping down the queen right there. Wall breaking in um, when there's a moment. The cannon shouldn't be able to take out those wall breakers in time. Then right here, the loons and the minions should create that funnel. Taking out these two buildings, which would otherwise... And hopefully that building as well. Um, which would otherwise pull the queen downwards. Uh, to the right as you'll see in this attack, but I want the queen to go to the left. So he uses a rage Totally not necessary for me. I'll just poison the queen um, That should be fine and then 
Um, from here, he drops his king, and the queen walk kind of goes a little wonky on him. It just goes off to the right side here and doesn't get much value. So we'll fast forward. The Teslas are kind of spread out in all four corners. The CC, as you can see, is uh, witches and baby dragon, which is pretty common to see. So I'll do my best to poison that. As long as the witches die, um, the queen walk should go fine. Um, two rages plus her ability and five healers. It's going to be difficult to take her out unless I make a mistake. So I'm just going to try to avoid a mistake. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this one goes, though. Um, that's pretty much it. You can see this attack crushed the base, um, just not in the cleanest fashion. So runs out of time here. Two Lava Hounds left up. Um, not Just no cleanup troops, basically. So we'll see if I can clean this one up and uh, get that 6-star 10v10 war, um, which I'm hoping to get. So last time... Just making sure everything's good. This was trained to donate, but I don't think that's going to be applicable. We'll go ahead and give him the poison. Um, okay, still got my own poison. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and do this. Number 10 here. Go ahead and turn the music up, as I like to do for these live attacks. Get that suspense going a little bit. You guys should be able to hear that a little bit better now. Okay. So we'll start off with the... Queen, healers, wall breakers, then loons, minions, minion down here on that building. Okay, feeling confident. Alright, we are in. Let's get the queen ready. Okay, we're going first, as I said. One, two, three, four. Three minions just to be safe. Here's the one down there. Get the poison on the queen. Oh, gonna have to pop the ability. The cannon did not engage, like, yeah, a little bit different. It's alright, we'll be fine. Uh, different how it worked out than the last attack, but. It was a max queen walk he was doing a little bit different. Get the poison spell down. Queen raged up. Oh, healers getting that rage, please. Thank you. That could have gone bad. All right, if we can turn our attention a little bit here. Um, let's get the king. Forgot the giant. In you go, Hog Riders. Get our cleanup down, get our heal down. We'll see how this one goes. Feeling pretty good so far. Patient on this heal. There we go. Go ahead and rage these hogs through. I don't see another use for it. It's not going to help the queen much. I got this CC still. That I forgot. Okay, that's sending the CC over here. With that heal and a wizard. This is going to be a weird attack here. I'm kind of splitting the base in half almost. Get that archer tower. Get it. There you go. Uh, the inferno shouldn't be much of an issue. I think I have enough hogs here. Got one free archer. I'm going to save it in case some building gets away from me here. Um... We'll see, maybe to kill those skellies or something. Whew, this one's going to be close. Let's get an archer down here just to start working on these buildings. Um, it may be an issue with time. Now, all I have is my queen. Um, definitely have enough firepower. The Infernos can't do anything against my queen here with the healers on her. Uh, 43 seconds. Got the wizard, got the archer working. That wizard up here is not going to do anything for me. I might be able to pull this one off. I need that queen to to grab that inferno. Um, this one wizard here, what is this kid doing? That was a very interesting route to take. Um, it might actually work out in my favor though because he's going to pull the queen back for that inferno. Whew, this one's going to be a three star guys. I was nervous but actually we have about 10 seconds to spare it looks like. Uh, more so, about 12 seconds. So that one was close. Let me turn the music back down uh, so you can hear me a little better here. Um, wow, let's take a look at the replay though. I'm Felt great. Awesome three-star. Um, felt great to clean that up and get the six-star war. 
let's take a look at that one and hopefully this video by the way can help you guys because you might see bases like this that aren't always the best designs and this is how you want to go at them just look to do these queen walks because your queen is your most important asset um, she is so valuable now on a queen charge with these infernos not being able to affect her at all um, so I think everything went well here this one hiccup had me nervous at the beginning um, the loons were fine the minions were fine right here you'll notice this didn't happen in the last attack in the last attack the cannon went down before the queen engaged if you look at her range here it's very close i should have uh, had that in mind but i was it was wise of me to just pop the ability i didn't want to risk it didn't even let her get you know terribly low either just i knew it was going to be close wasn't going to risk it so went ahead and popped the ability which was the smart move i think and um you know kind of sucked and something that these things happen when you try to repeat something oftentimes it's going to be a little bit different and that can majorly affect the attack this was a great poison spell perfect placement the poison spell rescued me from that awful uh, rage that i dropped that didn't affect the healers at first i was nervous i was wondering am i going to have to drop two rages on top of each other to get those healers raged up uh, but the queen actually fights through does fine um, this part i think was also important here i forgot the giant and kind of the whole panic but i dropped a few wizards to help out um, to make up for it and uh, pop the king's ability here. This was important to take out the king because he is a huge nuisance to hogs and also made it a little bit of a speedier transition from one uh, part of the base to the other, which means they wouldn't be um, without a heal for as long, that main group. Right here, should have dropped my CC hogs. I don't know what I was doing. Um, if I dropped them right in that double cannon, I would have saved myself a lot of hogs. But they hit a few springs, they hit some skellies. Um, I went ahead and used that rage because I knew the queen, the direction she was going, she was never going to need that rage spell. Um, it was going to be a matter of time and taking out this base. So uh, I went ahead and used it on the hogs there. And then at that point, I realized I have my CC. And I think it was a good move because my queen is already cleaning up this side. No point sending hogs through it. Went ahead and sent the hogs through the other side, uh, which allowed me to start cleaning up with this last wizard up here and that last archer, which I eventually drop. Oftentimes you want to save that last archer or whatever just to see where it's going to go. But it was pretty clear it once... Um, uh, this uh, those last few hogs go down how the end game was gonna be and that I needed to get that those top buildings taken out in time and um, this one wizard here is such a weird AI uh, phenomenon right here who he, he will target this um, I think gold mine in such a weird way so like look at him he goes no he takes out that then he goes like down past there to take out this gold mine. Wizards have weird AI. This is not the first time it's happened to me. But um, it actually worked out okay because he funnels the. Otherwise, the queen would have walked up towards there. And I still would have gotten the three star based on how much time was left. But it was a good move if there was even less time because um, it makes my queen immediately go back up. The archer had already had that army camp under control anyway. And the wizard finishes it off. So. Hope you guys liked it. I um, wanted to do a 10v10 just so you guys can see one of those live. And um, post update, this is what we're looking at. Queen charge hog attacks. I've seen a little bit of P.E.K.K.A. action, but honestly, I think it's a little bit of a fluke. And I might make a video on it if it becomes more uh, common. But um, I think it's not that difficult to defend against if you have the right base. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I'll, I'll watch some more of those P.E.K.K.A. attacks at Town Hall 10 and see if they're worth um, really making a video on in you know, being more than just kind of a brief thing we see in this weird transition phase between uh, different metas and different uh, situations at Town Hall 10. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.